Listen, we know there's a lot of cloud cover out right now, but I want to know how we get Sprinkles the Pig as a mascot for the Storm Team Weather Center. That's fantastic news, Haley. Now, we're looking at a lot of this cloud cover make its way out of the area while the humidity is starting to drop. And, of course, we're looking at the temperature change over the last 24 hours as some of those cooler temperatures make their way out and we start to warm back up for some beautiful kickoff conditions right now going all the way down into those upper 60s, making a good run at those mid-80s. And right now we're holding pretty strong with those strong humidity values. 84 right now in San Angelo. Everybody else already up into those 80s with us. The high humidity is keeping us relatively close together across the entire region. 82 in Sterling City, 87 down there in Junction. Everybody feeling pretty comfortable right now and things are starting to dry up. I definitely saw a little overnight rain shower activity, but of course things are drying up as we make our way closer towards that beautiful weekend. Dew points are in those 60s across the entire board, while those humidity values have nearly halved across the entire Concho Valley, all the way down into those 50s, if not down there in Ozona, where they're at 48 percent. Now we're really tracking the upper level pattern because we have our eye on more rain by next weekend. That includes Friday for the next week's football games. Now this low pressure is going to move off towards the east, keep us pretty mild throughout the entire weekend and through next week. But Stephen and I have been tracking this strong low pressure system because we believe that one's going to be the next big storm maker starting as early as Wednesday next week. It's going to start pulling that moisture again across the Sierra Madres. Now the moisture tracker, if not the water vapor, is showing you where the dry air is calming things down and stabilizing most of the nation. But some areas still dealing with some of those stronger circulations around Colorado and then of course everybody has their eye on this circulation around Louisiana in fact some of those areas are starting to pick up more tropical activity now the cold front's going to make its way through calm things down definitely feeling more like fall out there while it pushes out of the Concho Valley but everybody is tracking the strong circulation off the west coast severe weather outlook has the Concho Valley inside the crosshairs but we're only dealing with a lot of light cloud cover we have gained one more tropical area of investigation that one's just off the east coast right there of Texas again we're watching the one off the east coast of the United States, another one down there near Mexico, near the Yucatan Peninsula, one just north of San Juan, and then one more behind me. That one's going to be out in the middle of the Atlantic. All of these have about 10 to 30 percent chance of formation in the next seven days, but we'll definitely see on the lookout for some hurricane barrel light conditions. But throughout the rest of the night, we're only going to see some light cloud cover as things start to clear up for beautiful kickoff conditions. So make sure you get out there and get some good snacks because I'm definitely very excited. Go Chiefs. Now we're going to watch the future cast as we make our way through the rest of the night. Still could pick up a few spotty showers around the Concho Valley, but things will quickly dry up as we make our way into the evening. Watching for a light cloud cover around that noon hour. Here's kickoff. Things are looking beautiful. Then as we make our way into that Friday night, could see one small shower make its way through before we make our way into that beautiful Saturday. So make sure you get out there and enjoy the luminary ceremony down at the visitor center. It's hunting season. We're going to continue to see these beautiful temperatures. So tonight, down into those upper 60s, if not those lower 70s. Then tomorrow, a beautiful day as we make a good run at those upper 80s. Hopefully we don't touch into the 90s, but definitely get out there and enjoy the kickoff. It's going to be beautiful temperatures for it. We're going to hold on to this pleasant weather for about a week, but take a good look as we drop down into those mid 50s, even cooler than earlier this week before things start to turn back into those stormy weather while those 80s get back into those mid levels. Stay tuned for more for the rake. You're watching KSAN News. Bye.